Dimola 2020X has been given a new user interface for the first time in many years. The purpose of the redesign is to improve the overall workflow, but we also wanted to give Dimola a more modern look and feel. This short video introduces the key differences compared to earlier versions of Dimola. The most striking difference is that Dimola 2020X has a so-called ribbon that replaces the menu bar and the toolbars. You'll recognize this from other common applications. The ribbon is split into several tabs and within each tab we have groups of command buttons. In general, large buttons are used for primary operations and small buttons are used for less common operations. But the ribbon will adapt to available space and if needed change to smaller buttons. Let's start with the file menu which is similar to the old one but has a more modern design and nicer icons. Some of these less commonly used operations have been moved to the Tools tab. The Options setting have been moved to the File menu. Some common operations are also available in the Quick Access bar at the top left corner of Dimola. The ribbon is organized into several tabs for model editing. The Graphical Editor for model composition the Documentation Editor, and the Modelica Text Editor. And then there's a Simulation tab for running experiments and a Tools tab. This means that the model layers of earlier Dimola versions have been divided into three ribbon tabs. Starting with the Graphical Editor, we immediately note the revised icons in the ribbon and more extensive help provided by tooltips. We also see that the instance hierarchy has been moved to the window to save some space. Moving to the Documentation tab, there are several modes to view the documentation or to edit various parts. A number of formatting operations are available in the ribbon. The Modelica Text tab also has several modes to edit the model, see Pretty Printed Mathematical Notation or the Hierarchy of Use Classes. Some buttons have an associated menu, such as Check. A little detail that we added is a pedantic check option to improve model portability. Now to the simulation tab, which starts with common commands to run and edit scripts or to execute commands defined in the model. The next group contains the usual simulation operations, but note that we can now change the stop time and the algorithm directly in the ribbon without opening the setup dialog. It concludes with the operations to open result files create plot windows, and to control animations. If we select the plot window, an additional ribbon tab becomes visible, which contains all operations specifically aimed at changing the contents of the plot window. Many operations that were previously hidden in the context menu are now easily visible in the ribbon. It's not a new feature, but note that we can easily plot signals from the graphical model view. In a similar fashion, when we create an animation window, we get access to a ribbon tab with operations for that window, and the same when we create a new script. The Tools tab contains many less common operations, many of which were previously in the file menu. Finally, we have a window menu at the far right and a button to change the layout or the ribboning in case you would like a sleeker appearance. Thank you very much for watching the introduction to Dimola 2020X user interface. We hope you enjoy the new look and feel and look forward to hearing from you.